Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can qualify for the most biggest airdrops that are coming up this year. One of them is ZK Sync. So I'm going to show you how you can qualify for ZK Sync and also how you can qualify for the mode airdrop because that's coming up in the next couple of months. Not only that, but we're also going to talk about how you can qualify for the Eigenlayer airdrop, which in my view is going to be one of the biggest airdrops this year or when it does come out not only that also the Renzo airdrop so it's going to be really really interesting we're going to be you know moving funds from the main net to all these different chains i'm going to show you what i think is the best strategy to use obviously you don't want to be watch trading so let's go ahead and get started here with zk sync the purpose of this video is to generate enough trading volume so that we can get a nice lucrative airdrop allocation obviously you're going to be needing funds in order for you to do that so always do your own research don't invest what you're not willing to lose before we get started just make sure that you have ethereum on your main net so i just withdrew about 1.07 ethereum here and you can see it when you come here this is my wallet that i'm going to be using this is our demo wallet that we're using here on the channel and you can see i've got about three thousand eight hundred dollars here and i'm going to talk in the next video about all these base meme coin because i seem to be getting all these meme coins for example all this money here is basically just free money that i got from you know our previous airdrop by the way if you've been following this channel on our airdrop series go and check your wallets because you may be eligible for these base airdrop meme coins so let's get started here by starting on zk sync so the first thing that we want to do again is to bridge funds so i'm going to click on bridge i'm going to leave links in the description of this video on the same order that i'm going to be going here so this is quite expensive actually the gas fees are quite going up right now so i'm going to click here you can see i'm paying about 30 two dollars if i come here you can see maybe simply because maybe the qui is going higher here yeah it's kind of like went a little bit higher but anyway i'm just gonna pay it for the sake of this video so you can see about 32 dollars so i'm gonna go ahead and just confirm this it says here you must make sure that your wallet supports the case sync uh, or else you may lose your funds but since we are using metamask we know for a fact that we can add the case sync so it should be good so I'm going to go ahead and just say I understand. It actually went down to $29. So I'm actually just going to start bridging now. And I'll go ahead and confirm that. So this is the time that it takes to move from the Ethereum mainnet to ZK Sync. This is the ZK Sync error. The reason why I'm actually doing ZK Sync error is simply because last year I produced a video on ZK Sync Lite. For example, if we come to our wallet here and just copy our wallet address. And I'm going to come here to the ZK Sync Lite Scanner and I'll paste this here. If we scroll down here, we can see that we did a few transactions about a year ago and you guys saw this. So I'm assuming that you already done these transactions on ZK Sync Lite. I think this airdrop is going to be coming up in the next coming months. So that's why I decided to make this video today. So you can see I've got these transactions about one year ago, about seven months ago. So I have been active for some time on ZK Sync Lite on this wallet. So that's why right now I think it's a right time for me to start uh, bridging and also interacting with ZK Sync error. Because if you recall with the Arbitrum airdrop, you had to use the Arbitrum Nova and also the Arbitrum main chain. So let's just wait for these funds to get to ZK Sync and we'll move on to our next step. All right. So this transaction is now finishing. Let's move on to the next step. But actually, if we came here, you can see that we already have these funds on the casing error. Even though here it still says it is still working on it, it is actually now done. So let's move on to the next step. Again, I'll leave all the links in the description of this video. Let's go ahead and just connect our wallet here. And I want to make sure that I am on the casing error here. So just make sure that you select the casing error on top. Let's actually change this to a dark mode. So once you're here on SyncSwap, go ahead and click on trade. And what I want to do is to move this Ethereum to USDC. So you can either click 100%, but in my case, I want to leave some funds for gas fees as we're going to be doing other transactions. I'm going to go ahead and just swap this and confirm. You can actually here get gas refund as you can see here. So you can always get that on your transactions. So let's click out of that. I'm actually going to now move this USDC to USDT. So again here, because we're not actually moving from one asset up and down, up and down, we're not necessarily doing wash trading. Again, I'm just going to be doing one or two transactions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just unlock this and approve that. 
and I'll go ahead and just swap this. Again, transactions are so cheap right now. You can see, I think I'm left with just a couple of dollars here, about $3, but I'm able to do all these transactions. Again, we're done here on ZK Sync. We did about two transactions and that was almost about $8,000 of trading volume. Again, you don't want to be doing everything in one day. So that's why I'm only doing two transactions today. Now let's move on to the mode network. In order for you to use the mode airdrop section, you need to have a referral link. You need this code here in order for you to access this page. I'm going to leave that also in a document in the description of this video. And the first thing that you want to do is to make sure that you're bridging from the Ethereum mainnet. But in my case, I've already done that. Hence, you can see I've got about 500 points here. By default, if you have used your wallet before, you should have some points. Uh, I'm going to leave the link to that again in the description of this video. So what I'm going to do in this case is to come here on Rhino. And you can see here, I've got ZK Sync error on top. I'm going to select that. Then I want to bring those funds to the mode network. I'm just going to select all of it. You can see here, I've got 3,753. And I'm going to be paying about $5 here for these transactions. So the price discrepancy is not that much, but it is a lot. $5 is a lot. But again, a lot of people will say this is expensive. But if you're trying to farm an airdrop, that could give you $10,000, $20,000, $5 is going to be nothing. So let's go ahead and spend our USDT. So I'm actually using the same amount of funds to bridge to these different networks. Again, you can see we're moving these funds from the ZK Sync era to the mode network. I'm going to go ahead and just bridge that and confirm that's within my wallet. Again, you can see this is not going to cost that much, just about less than a dollar. And it is actually done on this side. If you come here, you can see it costed almost nothing basically so these transactions are so cheap right now because there has been an update on the ethereum network mostly for layer twos so our next step is to wait for these funds to actually arrive here on the mode network as you can see the funds have been successfully moved from zk sync we're just waiting for them to arrive on the mode network i'm using this option because i already have some funds on the mode network you can see i've got about five dollars here to cover the gas fees and if you're doing this for the first time, you'll have to come here on the link in the description of this video and click on bridge. So from here, you should be able to bridge from the Ethereum network. So maybe you can cut out the ZK sync process and just directly come to the mode process. So you can see this is costing about $39. So you need to wait for the right times. This can cost as low as $20. I've seen it cost about $20 recently. So you need to first use this bridge, the main bridge, in order for you to qualify for the airdrop. All right, this is now done, which means we now have USDT on the mode network. Now we can come here on the mode network. Uh, this is the second step. Now we're trying to qualify for the mode airdrop. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on airdrop. So if you scroll down here, you'll be able to find all the different applications that are available here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll down here and click on Kim Exchange. So click on that link and enter the app. From here, I want to select USDT and I want to move to USDC. You recall that when we breached here on Rhino, we did lose some funds because we had to pay about $5. Now you can actually make that money back because if you're swapping from USDT to USDC, and clicking 100%. Here you can see we've got $3,747. However, we're getting now $3,761. So we are making those funds back. So I'm gonna click approve. Again, now I'm trying to accumulate trading volume here on the mode network. So this first transaction is basically about $3,800 of trading volume. My goal is to reach $10,000 of trading volume in all these networks. Again, you're not going to be able to achieve that in one day because you may be detected as a Sybil unless you've got, you know, too much capital to move around. So I don't know. Let's go ahead and proceed to swap and confirm this. Again, transaction fees are ridiculously cheap here on the mode network as well. You can see this was done successfully. So if I click on that on the scanner, I can actually just copy my wallet address and paste it here. And you can see the other transactions that I've done previously. So I haven't done a lot, but I'm just going to be starting now to farm this airdrop. So now we have our funds on USDC. 
the worst thing that you want to do is to move now from USDC to USDT because this could be regarded as wash trading. Not only that, but we can see here that we will be losing some funds because there is some price discrepancy. Next thing, what I want to do here is to move at least $150 to Ethereum. Or I can also just use other swapping protocols here. For example, I can click on this one and I'll click on trade now. I want to just move $150. You can see here if I'm using Kim Exchange, $150 gives me about 0.0423. However, if I'm using this one here, it gives me 0.26, which is way more than what this one is, is offering me. So I'm going to go with this one and click swap. Confirm this. Again, you just need to you know play around with these things so that you get the best prices. By us performing these swaps, we're actually increasing our points here on the mode network. I'll cover that on the second video. All right, this swap was done successfully. You can also just track your activities here. You can see here, these are very, very cheap here. It's cost about 0.02 cents. So it's almost nothing. So next we need to move to Renzo. Again, I'll leave all the links in the description of this video. And here you want to select the network that you want to be using. In this case, we want to select mode and we want to select Ethereum on the mode network. If you click max, you can see that you're not necessarily sometimes getting all the tokens that you have within your wallet. For example, here, I know I have 0.04, but I'm getting about 0.02. So I'm going to just change this to four. In fact, I can just change it to 4.3. So it's giving me about that $150. The reason why I'm doing $150 is simply because I want a dollar cost average to this while I create more transactions. So in about a week, I'll put in another $150. I'm not necessarily putting in a lot of money here. I'm going to go ahead and just confirm this. All right, so that transaction was done successfully. Here you can actually put any amount that you want to put. For example, here you can see that even with $4, this does go through. So it doesn't really matter. It depends on what can you afford to put in. For example, I'm happy to put in $150 per week. So altogether, maybe about $600 per month. So that's what I'm happy to do here while I'm racking up those transactions on the mode network. All right, so now that you've done this, you can now click on your portfolio. You can be able to see the amount of money that you have within your portfolio. Uh, but we're not done just yet. I'm going to move to the next step here. Again, I'll leave all the links in the description of this video. So now let's move on to the next step, which is Ionic. So I'm going to click on that and I'll click on launch the app. So we recall that here on Renzo, which is you know, basically staked our Ethereum and we got easy ETH. So we want to use this easy ETH to supply liquidity here on Ionic. So I'm going to select the first one here. I'm just going to click supply. If you, your wallet is not connected, it's going to prompt you to connect your wallet here on top. So mine is connected. I'm just going to click supply and withdraw. So from here, I'm just going to slide the slider over to 100% and go ahead and supply my easy ETH. You can see this was done successfully so we can just click continue so by us doing this we're now qualifying uh not only for the mode airdrop but also we're qualifying for the renzo airdrop and also the eigen layer points so next week i'll create a part two of this video and during that video i'll show you how much points i'm accumulating here you can see if you come here to the mode network that i haven't got really much point because i'm only using this uh, for the first time I did bridge previously, but I didn't do anything. So make sure that you do subscribe to stay up to date with regards to all the things that you need to do. As always, I can always use the funds that I still have within my wallets to just transact and try to push more trading volume within the next coming week. So I'll see you guys then. Make sure that you check out the links in the description of this video to access everything that we spoke about in this video. I'm Voss Designer. I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye. Peace.